Daddy, we should do this. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's off to a good start. What is happening? Is what is this? Is this? Chicken? Ah! The baby's doing it. I'm Kali. I'm Kali. You just say I want you. That's kind of creepy. Oh yeah. Get down with it, doggy. This is like a weird Gangnam style. You know what this reminds me of? Gangnam style. <laughs> What is happening? What is this? This is freaking me out, dude. This is giving me a panic attack. <laughs> what? It's kind of catchy. Is this the new Macarena? I don't know what's happening. It's like the new Macarena. They were like... How have I not seen this? I don't understand. But I like it. I wonder, like, the logic behind this, like, music video, like, we're gonna walk around and just be like this. Miranda Sings looks different. And now they're gonna dance off with the gang next door? We've got the secret weapon. It's a dance battle! Is this gonna be like the new dance? <laughs> Those animal noises? <laughs> it's music made out of, like, animal noises. This is also just genuinely how I dance, so I'm a little offended. Oh, Godzilla. Okay, the Godzilla is there. There's a Godzilla and the buildings are dancing. <laughs> Very internet. Very internet. At this point in the internet, it's expected. That's what content is now. I didn't hate it. I wasn't a fan. Is this something we disagree on? Maybe. I kind of liked it. I kind of... It was okay. There's some more videos to show you in a second, but that was the music video for the song Skibby D by the Russian rave band Little Big. I love it. The video sparked a new viral dance trend called the hashtag Skibby D challenge. Okay. Am I gonna have to do that now? Mmm. <laughs> Skibby D. Was that the, like, is it the. It was kind of like the Macarena, wasn't it? Now we have some more of those videos to show you now. Oh, people are doing the challenge. Oh. I would love to see some. Let's see some. Or TikTok. Wait, this is kind of fun. I'm probably gonna do this, to be honest. Ronnie, we should do this! Let's do it! How are they so serious? I feel like that's what me and my friend would do after watching this video. Make a weird dance with an emotionless face? That's how I've been trying to make my brand for like 10 years. It's kind of like the, the, the Kiki challenge, and now it's like the Skibbity Pop Pop challenge. I like this one. Okay, that's creative editing. Oh, this one's fun, because she's changing outfits. This must have taken a long time. I appreciate the um <laughs> the animal noises at the end that people are contributing. I'm not a fan of these animal noises. A song shouldn't have that. Like, I don't want to be like, mm, 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 rough, rough. Like, no. That's an, a long dance to remember. <laughs> that's really, you have to put in effort to do that. Oh, I love this. Oh, great. It's getting progressively oh, more and doing... more insane. It shouldn't be this funny, but it is. <laughs> it's always better in a T-Rex costume. So this is what Godzilla is doing when the music video is off. I'm kind of over the dinosaurs. What? More disagreement. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like trying to learn the dance because I know you're going to ask me to do it. So I'm hardly paying attention to the context of these videos anymore. I'm just like, da 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 How does it work? Aww. Aww. So cute. <laughs> that's, that's adorable. Oh, he's so good at dancing. I love kitties. <laughs> The cat is like, oh god, help me. It's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day, for sure. It's catchy as hell. It gets a little annoying, but then at the same time, it's catchy. Like, when I'm done with this, I'm probably just gonna be like, skidibu-ba-ba. <laughs> it's either me or the dance. Who's it gonna be? Me or the dance? What are they saying? I wish I knew what they were saying. 
got some other crush. I'm picking the dance. See you later. I translated it for you. He's drawn to the dance. I don't even have to speak this language to know what's happening. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're having fun. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you gotta go, you gotta go. It's like the skibbity calls. I like the people that do twists, like the, the cat or the T-Rex outfit. And then this person made like a whole drama out of it. So that's, you know, it's pretty creative. People are really getting into it. They're so smiley. They're all having a good time. This is, this is what the internet's all for. What is this? This is a show, a late night show. Oh, it is. This is mainstream Russia now. It's like already been on Russian's Ellen show. Dude, this, this went so viral in this country that all these high production versions of this came to fruition. It seems like it's like a Jimmy Kimmel type of thing from Russia. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's like, literally looks insane doing this. I mean, it looks like such a good time. Everyone just joining in. It's way funnier without the music, to be honest. See, with no music, it's just it's just a little weird. Not as efficient without the music. Come on. I'm already done. Ripped his pants. He ripped his pants. Oh. <laughs> he ripped his pants. <laughs> I liked it. I think I started out not liking it, but then it kind of started growing on me. I love to see people take like viral things and just make it their own. It's positive. It, uh, it encourages dancing and creativity, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just because I think it's a little cringy uh, doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. It just, it's fun. So in just 10 days, the video that started this trend racked up over 23 million views on YouTube. Oh, okay. Damn, why was not I one of those views? That's a ton that's of views. That's a ton views. of views. That's yeah. really good. That's a ton. Good for them. The Skibby D challenge itself has been done thousands of times all over the world and can be found on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter. Russia's, Russia's Harlem Shake. We think it is about this video that had so many people wanting to watch these videos and participate in the challenge. I think a lot of it has to do with like, uh, seeing like, I don't know, friends or whatever and jumping on the bandwagon is obviously like new. It's something original. Uh, it looks like something that anyone can do. It looks fun or whatever. A big group of people can do it. It's so random and so weird and quirky that people are like, ooh, I want to do this. It's definitely like a, a catchy enough beat you know, for that style of music where it's gonna be like mm -hmm. stuck in your head because it's just a repetitive melody. And it's very shareable. Dance is also, I imagine, a form of communication in every country, so it hit yeah. both those markers. You know, we're, as humans, bored a lot of the time. So I think as adults, having some like task work and like creating things like this is sometimes really entertaining. So the video is meant to be a parody of dance challenges itself. That is awesome. <laughs> I love that. In the original video description though, they said that they wanted to have people participate in the challenge and like post to social media and everything. So like, do you think it is like truly like a parody if they're doing the same things that all these dance challenges do? I think they, they achieved it. It's funny because there's definitely a lot of people who won't know it's a parody and will think it's like actually serious and that, that makes it a lot funnier. All the music videos to those like viral dance phenomenon things, like all the videos are quirky and funny and weird. Like they're not like serious music videos that people parody, so that video looked and felt the same. That doesn't really seem like a parody if they're in, like inviting people to do it. I didn't see it as a parody. They're probably going like, you know, trying to become viral by pretending to not want to go viral. I feel like their intention was to make that whole thing go viral because it's not like you do a whole production and a whole music video and hire people for nothing. Why put so much work into like a video and like make it so elaborate like that for only just like the joke? Like they obviously had like they had a idea. budget. They had a budget. I don't think it's a parody. I think music like this is a genre of parody to begin with. I don't think the Macarena started out as a genuine like real like high flute and dance that they were like, oh, I can't believe they're doing this at weddings now. This was meant for galas only. Like this kind of stuff is dumb and everyone knows it. Finally, now that you've seen several people attempt to do this challenge, you're gonna have you do it yourselves. Oh, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready. I hope I do it justice. Um, I definitely saw some amazing ones. 
a few minutes to go, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I do it well. Maybe, like a, uh, a... Uh. I'm going in a circle now. <laughs> I feel like they did a bit of a Macarena, Macarena too. I've never felt more like Gumby as a human being before. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. What? <laughs> uh, pretty bad, but at least it's not going to be on the internet for millions of people to see, right? Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to all the creators in this episode. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And a big thanks to all the creators who came in and shot this episode with us. Be sure to check out their channels by clicking the links in the description below. This is hard. Bye.